Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a groundhog. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. On the left side, draw a curved line as a guide for the muzzle. The muzzle is pretty flat, so don't curve the line too far to the left. On the top right side, draw a small arc as a guide for the ear. To the right of the head, draw another circle as a guide for the front part of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about 1.5 times the size of the head circle. Don't overlap the head on the left side as you draw this circle. To the right, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. This circle should be about the same size as the circle for the front part of the body. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Under the front part of the body, draw a curved line as a guide for the front leg. This line should be similar to a wide letter U. Below that, draw a shorter curved line as a guide for the foot. This line should be similar to an oval. To the left, draw a shorter curved line as a guide for the other front leg. Add a shorter curved line at the bottom for the other foot. Under the back portion of the body, draw another short curved line as a guide for the hind foot. Connect the circles using curved lines to finish the guide for the body. The line at the top should curve over the ear. Add a short line between the legs for the underside of the body. Draw a curved line under the head for the neck. On the right side of the body, draw a long curved line as a guide for the tail. The shape of the tail should be wide and the tip round. And that's it for the guidelines, now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, near the top, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Pay attention to how small the eye is in relation to the head. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. As you darken the shape, make the sides pointier for the corners of the eye. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw another small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Shade in the rest of the eye. Use a value that's lighter than the pupil when you shade the eye. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade the eye. Use a lighter value on the bottom of the eye to make the shape rounder. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for the eyelid and wrinkles. Keep these lines close to the shape of the eye. Draw a series of short strokes above the eye for a bit of fur. Inside the muzzle, lightly sketch a small circle for the nose. The nose should fit between the guide for the muzzle and the left edge of the head circle. When you get the size and position of the nose right, darken the lines. Use a few short strokes to emphasize the fur. On the right side of the nose, draw a small curved shape for the nostril. This shape should be similar to a crescent moon on its side. Darken the bottom part of the nose, but make it thinner. Under the nose, draw a line that curves to the right for the mouth. Draw the line using a series of short strokes for a furry texture. 
Under the left side of the mouth, draw two small angled lines for the visible section of the front teeth. Below the teeth, draw a curved line for the bottom lip and short strokes for the furry chin. On the left side, draw a curved line for the front part of the muzzle. Darken the line above the nose for the top part of the muzzle. To the right of the nose, draw a few rows of dots for the base of the whiskers. Darken the arc on the top right side of the head to create the ear. Extend the bottom tips of the ear farther inside the head. Inside the shape, draw a couple of curved lines to give the ear structure. Add a few short strokes along the bottom for the furry base of the ear. Now use the initial lines and shapes as guides to draw the rest of the head. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. Use short strokes as you darken the path of the guides for a furry texture. Add a curved line to the left of the eye for the brow. Use slightly longer strokes for the underside of the head. Draw a series of short strokes along the right edge of the circle to emphasize the jaw. Use the big curved line under the front part of the body as a guide to draw the first leg. Darken the path of the guide using short strokes to create the furry shape of the leg. Use longer strokes for longer fur. Now draw the foot and toes inside the shape at the bottom. Draw a few short lines along the left side of the shape to separate the toes. At the end of each toe, draw a thin triangular shape for the claws. Draw a shorter toe and claw along the bottom of the shape. Draw a total of four toes pointing to the left. Use the shapes to the left as guides to draw the other leg and foot the same way. Use short strokes to darken the shape of the leg. Draw the toes inside the shape at the bottom. On the tip of each toe, draw a small triangular shape for the claws. Use the short curved shape on the right side as a guide to draw the hind foot the same way. Draw the toes as short lines along the left side of the shape. The toes should take up most of the space inside the shape. The toes should be smaller the farther down they are. On the tip of the toes, draw small triangular shapes for the claws. Above the foot, draw a long curved line that's made up of short strokes for the top part of the hind leg. Draw the path of the leg along the edge of the initial circle. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use short strokes as you darken the lines for a furry texture. On the right side, curve the path of the strokes farther to the right than the initial circle. Draw the strokes across the shape of the tail. Use slightly longer strokes under the body for shaggier fur. Don't overlap the shape of the legs as you draw the underside of the body. Darken the curved guide on the right side to create the shape of the tail. Use longer strokes for a furrier texture on the tail. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a dark value for the inside of the ear and the nose. 
Use a light value for the muzzle. Groundhogs don't have much of a coat pattern, so just use a medium value all over the body. Use a series of short strokes as you shade for a furry texture. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. The strokes should mainly have a horizontal orientation. As you shade, separate the strokes slightly so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Use a darker value along the underside of the shapes for shadows. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a groundhog. Shade the feet using a darker value. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the groundhog. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2 then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time keep drawing.